Okay, we all ready? <clears throat> More or less. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't say it like that. Jesus, that's so sad. I don't know. <laughs> I don't like, know. I what guess. Are... <laughs> We're all gonna <laughs> die anyway. <laughs> I don't know shit about Halo. Halo is like the last like limit of my knowledge. Okay, but how many times are we gonna hear Arsenal say I played this game before? <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, come on. I just got it's... through all that. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna like get a notebook and I'm gonna like write down uh a tally every time he says I've played this game before. Anyway, welcome to the Dynamite crew. <laughs> <laughs> we're, uh, the, the second episode. Uh, today we're going to be doing Halo Combat Evolved from the uh, Master Chief Collection. Uh, this game came out in 2001. I was surprised by that. Uh, games that came out around that time, Silent Hill 2, Grand Theft Auto 3, Final Fantasy X, uh... Super Smash Bros. Melee, Sonic Adventures 2, things like that. Uh, your developers are Bungie, um, but they don't own it anymore, unfortunately. And now we got 343 Industries. So that's pretty much the background of it. It's, it is Microsoft. It came out with the Xbox, if somehow you don't know that. So my background with Halo is complicated. I didn't like the series at first, but... It grew on me as soon as the second game came out, so this was not the first uh, game in the series that I started playing, but I've I've grown to enjoy it. The later games, not so much, but we'll we'll get to that when we cross that bridge. So, Hunter, what's your history on Halo? Give us I the vast jacked. detail. <laughs> I don't jack the best, shit. The best details. <laughs> No, I don't know shit. Like, oh, you want to know what I know about this game? I know it was everyone's favorite PvP game. That's all I know. Story, I don't know. There like, are still I don't people know that anything play else. The old, there, there are people that still play the old version. There are. I have, like, I met a guy, like, one of my friends was dating a guy a long, like a while back who still played one of the older PvP versions of the game. And I'm like, why? <laughs> why? Well, why, though? <laughs> why not? <laughs> I don't even well, remember which Halo it was. I just know he was he kept playing it and kept praising it. And I'm like, art, art, right? Okay, well, we got more than one of what I expected anyway. So, uh, <laughs> Marley, what's your, your history with Halo? Uh, I played, like, one match of Halo 3 with a bunch of older friends because I wanted to act cool. And I totally bombshelled the entire match. I was the punching bag. Other than that, I really don't know a whole lot about Halo, maybe save for, like, red versus blue. But even then, like, I was on and off with watching all that. Oh, yeah. Neat, Hunter, though. what's, you know, the one joke from red versus blue. What is it? You're asking me at a bad time, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's I'm... illegal. Wait, that's illegal. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. Uh, fuck, That's the one. That game yeah, from. you actually told me that one, and that was the first time I was like, "You know Halo," and then you're like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, this I mean, it's going to be easier talking about this story than with Dead Space. Dead Space was very much environmental tele uh, storytelling, which I I think is fair to call. Uh, Halo is more direct, a um, little bit different with Halo One, but uh, we will take a look at that and break it down as well. We have less characters to work with than Dead Space, but I am excited to see what everybody everybody picks at the end of the road. So... Pick an NPC uh, again, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> NPC that's totally not important to the story. Yeah, the, like, Fred the Marine. <laughs> Fred, like the Fred the Marine! <laughs> um... But before we start, Marley, what do you, what what kind of controller are uh, you using? Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, well, folks, today you're gonna find out one of my tropes is I am very sacrilegious because I didn't grow up with an Xbox. I grew up with a PlayStation, and today, just for this podcast, I purchased a PlayStation Five controller to play on my laptop. <laughs> So I can play Halo with the controller so I'm not too much of a heretic, but just enough that people want to kill me. You could just picture like all the Microsoft fans going, no, asshole. I hear him in the comments already. Oh, God. 
<laughs> no, please stop. We need your income. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think what the funnier part about this is is that you didn't have this this controller before before today. <laughs> before today, no. <laughs> you bought this controller for. This I bought reason. this controller for the sake of playing Halo, but I was like, hmm, I just want to get a, re a regular Bluetooth controller, and they're like, well, we can give you the Xbox one. Like Xbox, there's also the PlayStation one. Give me. <laughs> <laughs> There are some abilities some <laughs> consider to be unnatural. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, is there anything anyone wants to mention before we start then? Okay. I'm going to give that a hard no. I think we did this last time too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't even think I kept it in the, in the Dead Space recording, so we're just going to go right in. Oh, well, fine. I see how it is. Halo Combert Evolved. You're my good healer. Your hero. By the way, if you didn't figure it out yet, we are playing this in multiplayer. What the heck? Not all not all players have the required content installed to play. What? Uh-oh. a blind jump. How did they... Get here first? The Covenant ships have always been faster. As for tracking us all the way from Reach, at light speed my maneuvering options were limited. We were running dark, yes? Until we decelerated, no one could have missed the hole we tore in subspace. They were waiting for us on the far side of the planet. So, where do we stand? Our fighters are mopping up the last of their recon picket now, nothing serious. But I've isolated approach signatures for multiple CCS-class battle groups, make it three capital ships per group. And in about 90 seconds, they'll be all over us. Well, that's it then. Bring the ship back up to Combat Alert Alpha. I want everyone at this station. Everyone, sir? Everyone. And Cortana. Let's give our old friends a warm welcome. I've already begun. on solid ground. When we meet the enemy, we will rip their skulls from their spines and toss them away laughing. Am I right, Marines? Sir, yes, sir! Mm -hmm. Damn right I am. Mm, look at that voice sync. Attention all personnel. We are re-engaging the external and internal contact in is one of the four hunks glitching out? I can all you greenhorns who wanted to see Covenant up close, this is going to be your lucky day. Sure. Right. Let's thaw him out. Okay. Bringing low-level systems online. Cracking the case in 30 seconds. Wait, where are you? 
Why would I be in the same place? This is a this is a story about Halo, not Halo and friend. <laughs> Halo and friend. Oh, hey, there you are. Oh, there I am. Oh, wait a second. That didn't look right. That didn't look wait, right at all. Wait, this is illegal. <laughs> wait a second. That's illegal. We've got to get the hell out of here. Help me help you. Get quick, yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> Come on, friend. Halo awaits. Halo awaits. Halo and friend. Friendship evolved. <laughs> Halo friendship involved. <laughs> Captain Keys. Good to see you, Master Chief. Things aren't going well. Cortana did her best, but we never really had a chance. A dozen coming in superior battleships against a single Halcyon class cruiser. With those odds, I'm content with three. Make that four kills. Sleep well? No thanks to your driving, yes. So you did miss me. Report! It must have been one of their boarding parties. I'd guess an antimatter charge. Ma'am! Fire control for the main cannon is offline! Captain, the cannon was my last offensive option. All right, then. I'm initiating cold protocol article two. We're abandoning the auto. And that means you too, Cortana. While you do what? Go down with the ship? In a manner of speaking. The object we found, I'm gonna try and land the autumn on it. Okay, but can I have that pipe? Where the fuck did the pipe come from? No, no, I want it all. I'm, I'm glad I'm not the only one that picked up on that. Destruction Discrepancy in media! Is absolutely unacceptable. Oh, he's probably been holding it behind his back the entire time. Lock in a selection of emergency <clears> landing zones, <throat> upload them to my neural lace, and then sort yourself for a heart transfer. Aye, aye, sir. Which is where you come in, Chief. Get Cortana off this ship. Keep her safe from the enemy. If they capture her, they'll learn everything. Force deployment, weapons research, Earth. I understand. The Autumn will continue evasive maneuvers until you initiate a landing sequence. Not that you'll listen, but I'd suggest letting my subroutines handle the final approach. Excellent work, Cortana. Thank you. Are you ready? Yank me. Good luck, Master Chief. Hmm. Your architecture isn't much different from the Autumn's. Don't get any funny ideas. It has arrived. Who's the man? What the hell? Did something just hit us? Move it! Back to the airlock! I can. Oh, I spawned without weapons. That's interesting. Oh yeah, we get power ups in campaign. This is the only the time this happens. We go out and they come in. Doesn't happen in any other game. I hope you know I'm also keeping a death counter. <laughs> of course you are. Yeah, absolutely. By the way, is friendly fire on? I think I turned it off. Oh damn. <laughs> I'm sorry, one of them screamed and sounded exactly like a Mario. Wow! Yeah, we got those. <laughs> what? Oh, I hate that so much. I was fighting somebody and then I got teleported. <laughs> I know that was your grenade. He said friendly fire was off. I don't think the grenades count. So we'll find out. Um. Sure. You bastard! 
<laughs> I mean, I kind of asked for that. <clears throat> it's a peaceful one. I was literally about to say end his life, and then you ended his life, and it's like, good. That's all I asked for. <laughs> wow, okay, I see how we are saying now, Hunter. What? Oh, I wasn't mean to you. I meant that weird guy. He was just staring in the face for a second. Uh huh. We have so much disdain for each other already. Man, y'all got you guys aren't even like ten minutes into the game. <laughs> You've already killed one another. Baby, I'm on fire! Then realize they speak English. Okay. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they speak the uh, alien language. They can't make up their <laughs> mind about it. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! Now would be a very good time to leave. Ah, you don't say. Punch it. Ah, sir. I don't want to die out here. Look. What is that thing, Lieutenant? Elefano. We're landing on it. Elefano, she's been hit. It's a ring. Put a Halo rain was, on it. Halo was going to propose to someone. Hands up, everyone. This is it. That's. Nah, I'm gonna hold that to myself. <laughs> Everyone died. <laughs> God, that would have been so dark. <laughs> Standard operating procedure. <laughs> I would say probably Chief, after this chapter me? would be the the Blast. whole Blast. intro right there, and we can get first impression from Hunter and everybody else on that. Everybody else, meaning friend. <laughs> Your flashlight's still on. No. <laughs> Uh-huh. What are you talking about? I thought we were the only ones who made it off the Pillar of Autumn. It's a mess, sir. We're scattered all over this map. We called for evac, but until you showed up, I thought we were cooked. Don't worry, Sergeant. Stay here until he back on the drop ship heads in. Over here. I'm on my way. Look, more lifeboats. They're coming in fast. If those lifeboats make it down, something is going to be right on top of them. So hammer, we need you to disengage your warthog. The master chief and I are going to see if we can save some soldiers. Roger, Cortana. Okay. Who wants tips on driving? <laughs> I figured it was. Does this answer your question? <laughs> Alright, we won't worry about the Marine NBC. This is the part where I'm expecting Spanish music to, come, to pop up. 
Give me some of that mariachi. This cave is not a natural. Well, to get the traction on your back wheels. Someone built it, so it must lead somewhere. Ah yes, this cave is not a natural formation, of course. Ah, who would have guessed? I've hacked into the cabinet. Brilliant deduction. Clearly. Did a science. <laughs> Wasn't even like any equation, it's just like push button here. <laughs> I did a science. And I am proud of it. <laughs> Tried to take our car. <laughs> what? What a guy. Now, you want to know who what a guy is? Ernest Hemingway. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, what you need to do is you need to look up Randy Fellface's Life and Times of Ernest Hemingway. It gives a perfect review in under three minutes. Absolutely hilarious, too. Also, my girlfriend just wants to strangle me now because I mentioned that. <laughs> and she flipped me off. And that's I fair. Agree. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Here's a better idea. When the enemy comes towards us, we run away. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, Brilliant. you are a genius. <laughs> Absolutely, give this man a money. Oversimplified. Yep. Wonderful <laughs> show, by the way. Oh, yeah. This one Is this a, the... much of a spray and pray as more as the uh, arsenal run things over? It... <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Grenade! Oh. That was close. He almost actually stuck it on me. Okay. They're too smart. They used the trees. Oh no. Where did they even? Yeah, I saw that. I forgot it's like the slightest touch of this game. Oh boy. That was for the grenade, asshole. <laughs> So ends the tale of friend. <laughs> you are a dick! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'm gonna get you back for that. Uh, just you wait. <laughs> so that's the intro. Um, how we. How we. Oh. How do I. Oh shit. Well, I guess we'll just vote this run for a second. Once we get inside the ship, I should be able to lock on to the tracking signal from Captain Key's neural implants. Nice, we got the range. Go, go, yeah. go! Corey, paying us by the hour! Stick to the higher ground to the right. We should be able to recon the Covenant position without being spotted. I've detected Covenant stationary guns near the next pass. I recommend using your sniper rifle to take out the gunners while I call for Marine support. Get ready to move in to support us, Sergeant. The Master Chief is going to covertly take out as many of the Covenant as he can. Don't open fire until you hear the enemy return fire on us. That should let us keep the element of surprise. 
Okay, so... Intro. Um... I'd say it's okay, it drops us into the middle of something. Uh... Which we did... Say in the, in the Dead Space 1, it was kind of a... A trope, but, uh... Yeah, most, most of these games do. So. Yeah, yeah. So how do how do we how do we feel about this intro? I don't know who I am or I am here, but all I know is I must kill. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty much all this is. They give you no explanation. You're thrown. You wake up at a cryo. Apparently you're here. Apparently you're important. You're connected to some <laughs> weird AI too. On top of it, who fucking knows what's going on? <laughs> Um, I, yeah, I would say it's an okay, but yeah, it pretty much drops us right into the middle of pretty much everything. Um, well, I don't know who the bad guys are, I don't know who we are, or why we're running. I, it just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I yeah. just, I don't, I haven't been given a reason to care, besides <laughs> my own survival. That's true. Excuse me! <laughs> <laughs> Well, how do you feel about the intro, sir? <laughs> uh, I mean, it's about what I expect for Space Marines. Like, no time to explain. Just grab, just grab a gun to start shooting. Um, I've been trying to follow along with the story so far. It's pretty basic. It's more directed towards complete objectives versus tell a story right now. Mm -hmm. So. I can't really give a good judgment on it but right now, but at least from a game perspective, it makes sense and it's worthwhile. It keeps you oh, yeah. moving because it tells you plainly what you need to do. Yep, gets straight to the point. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Like, I'll give the game that. It's just I, as a person who enjoys the story more than the gameplay, it's like, okay, I woke up. Now I'm doing a thing. Why am I doing a thing? Who knows? I'm just doing it. Yeah, we we we're missing a lot of information from what's happened before, but we already know like aliens bad, humans good. Like the difference between this and Dead Space being like in Dead Space, you kind of have a reason to continue the story forward because Isaac's looking for his girlfriend. So yeah, like you have motivation. a reason to be involved. There's a motivation there. There's a, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, the, you're a marine. Yeah, you I follow mean, orders. That's I fair. Mean, as, as much as Chief's motivation is, is don't die. Because you got yeah. a portable lady. Yep. Yeah, it's like, cool, I'm just, I'm killing people so I don't die. Yeah. Anyway, let's, uh, that's pretty much, I, I think that's all we can give on it, so we will carry on. I guess I'm just picky about it because I don't like war games. That's fine. <sighs> war. War. No. Oh, wait, wrong game. My bad. <laughs> So, here's a question for you, Hunter, and you can guess at this. Judging by our suit of armor and the Marine suit of armor, how far in the future would you say we are? Mm. <laughs> I'm thinking, like, along the lines of, like, Mass Effect years, because it doesn't seem like we're all that far into the future. So probably about, you know... It was like 2078 or something for Mass Effect. I think so. Yeah, I'm thinking around there. Okay. <laughs> he said the thing! What? The music in this is freaking awesome, though. Music actually is pretty sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Marty O'Donnell was ahead of his time. You know who was ahead of his time? Mick Gordon. Mick Gordon was ahead of his time. Mick Gordon is absolutely <laughs> ahead of his time. What weapon? Yeah, need to swap real quick. There we go. Uh. These are your pistols. Can try the plasma. Oh, okay, you already jumped down. He's already gone. Nice shot. Yo, those things aren't so. Threatening when you figure out you can one shot them with a sniper rifle. Right? Ow! Okay, maybe a little threatening. <laughs> Got it. The door is open. Everyone should move through now. I can't guarantee that it won't lock again when it closes. Man. 
I can't wait for when the uh, the Paramount television show covers this. You know, you know, you guys, yeah, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. We need to talk yeah. about that, don't we? Uh, yeah. As of our, as the record as of the recording. As, what the fuck am I saying? As of the time of this recording, it'll, it just literally came out that the creators of the Halo TV show are not, have not played the games. So, so it's kind of like Zack Snyder never seeing any DC, ever reading any DC comics. Um, yeah, or just like not reading any of the Harry Potter books or Lord of the Rings, etc., etc. Just, you know, no source of material research at all. That's pretty dumb. It's almost like you should do your research and you might make a better movie. Well, also, like. But also, make Hollywood. Make sure you care about the source material, too. Yeah, that's it. Hollywood. Profits. Yeah. Money. 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 Yeah, right. <laughs> Money. Coming here was reckless. You two know better than this. Jeez. Thanks. Marines, lock and load your weapons. Let's be ready to move. Yes, sir. While the Covenant had us locked up in here, I overheard the guards talking about this ring world. They call it Halo. One moment, sir. Access Roll credits. Dude, it, it, it's the name of the dude. Some kind of deep I it's actually an didn't Xbox catch game. That, it came out in 2001 from something called Microsoft. She did it. She said the name of the game. Uh, that's true. The Covenant kept saying that whoever controls Halo controls the fate of the universe. Now I see. I have intercepted a number of messages about a Covenant search team scouting for a control room. I thought they were looking for the bridge of a cruiser that I damaged during the battle above the ring. That one's in all caps. That's literally. That's bad. I don't news. understand. If Halo is a weapon and the Covenant gained control. The subtitle team really didn't pay attention to this, I guess. I don't have subtitles on on my side, but I'm well, guessing yeah. from your commentary. They're all capitalized uh, with the first letter, but one of them was all caps. Let's move. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. They couldn't Chief, figure out what they wanted to do. Shut up and get behind me, sir. Let's go! Lord? I literally looked at it and was like, mm. <laughs> I did not actually mean to hurt you. You just started running like, oh, no, no! Stop killing each other. No! Cortana to Echo 419. off. We have the captain and need extraction on the double. Negative, Cortana. I've been engaged by Covenant Air Patrols, and I'm having a tough time shaking them. You'll be better off finding your own ride. Sorry. Acknowledged, Foe Hammer. Cortana out. Air support is cut off, Captain. We need to hold here until she can move in. Oh man, we're trapped in here. We're screwed. We're screwed, man. Stow the belly aching, soldier. Get Remember you yourself. A leatherneck. Cortana, if you and the chief I don't even know that was you. I'm drivers, sorry. I can fly us out of here. But get a hold of yourself. There's a covenant dropship still docked. That's Hey, cutscene. Everybody, mount up. Let's get on board. I did it. I did a science. Uh, no need. I'll take this bird out myself. Captain! Hunter! Hang on. Nice one, sir. Time for a little payback. See, in Covenant, they don't have... Uh, port and starboard, they have thoughts and prayers. Ah. I see. 
Oh. <laughs> it's okay, you didn't see the bad one I said last time to my other friends. Somewhere under this island. Oh, you're in a different pelican, I think. I am. The island has multiple structures and installations. One of them contains the map room. We'll take that as a maybe. <laughs> Music to my ears, Flow Hammer. You know our motto. We deliver. I feel like there's an audio setting that I'm like missing here. Yeah, because no, that's what shit by. Yeah, there's just effects, game music, and that's it. Huh. Weird. Because it really does feel like they're too quiet. You're gonna die if that drops. Oh no. They're doing you. I don't think it will drop. Huh. Yeah, it's like, dumbass. Brown. <laughs> <laughs> don't let them lock the door. Thanks, computer. <laughs> oh god, that hurt. Interesting. That royally hurt. Covenant's understanding of Halo subsystems. They've locked the doors, and we don't have enough firepower to get through them. Cortana to keys. Go ahead, Cortana. Have you found the control center? Yeah, it doesn't have a lot of voice acting. It, or the presentation of the voice acting isn't all that grand. Yeah. Which, you know, has its own unique flavor to it. Because it actually sounds a little more automated. More like a artificial intelligence should. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't really have anyone else do Cortana beside Jen Taylor at this point. She's kind of grown into the role. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that. Well, like Steve Downs has barely said anything as chief. But that's probably it for the best. Good luck, people. Keys out. We need to find the security override to get this door open. A lot of people say that you can do a, even though he's voiced a uh, master chief, that you can have him as a player insert character. Do you guys think that's true? What? What was the question? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, with Master Chief definitely being voiced, would you say that he can be a player insert character? I mean... Since he, like, barely speaks? Some people say that he can be a player insert character, but I don't think that's true, honestly. Eh? I'd almost say no. As I personally think player inserts are more of, I've created this person. Yeah, like sitting, I feel like player inserts down. are more than like character creation, but it's also decisions between crossroads and consequences of actions. I yeah, feel like that too. defines a player insert. Versus Master Chief, which is like, we haven't had any dilemmas that popped up that we had to choose something. Like, he, he's an integral part of the story, but he's not a character insert. Should open the door that leads into the main chamber. Dibs. Who the fuck opened this door? <laughs> dibs. <laughs> it's called Dibs. It's mine. What? What's Dibs? That energy sword. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. Dibs for you. He's not letting you have it. No, I'm letting him have it. It feels like there's a... I'm totally going to steal it from him later, but I'll let him have it. Yeah. There. No, it's it's yours. It's yours. I I don't need it. I like laser swords. Okay. Uh, do you want to go back to the warhog we had, or do you want to take that one at the crash site? You mean the puma? <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. Uh. Oh fuck no! I'm not letting you have this. 
What? I know better. What? What? I what? know Wait. better than to what? let you have that. I oh, okay. And, and, to you. <laughs> and he's gone. You bastard. Hey, why'd you disappear? Because he had to. Got shafted. Ain't that the fucking truth? Ain't that a fucking <laughs> move? YOLO! Oh my god. I actually didn't mean to do that, but here we are. <laughs> yeah, here we are. You can say that again. Uh, oh my god, my death count has surpassed you by at least five by now. Probably. Uh, no, not really. It's not too bad. It's, it's bad, but it's not that bad. <laughs> it's bad, but it's not that bad. <laughs> Actually keep <laughs> Try to comfort it. I'll tell you the death counter at the end of the session. This session or this episode? Yes. Whoever said bongos can't be used for a power instrument was a fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Where is it? By the way, the sword disappears when uh, they die. They You can't actually pick it up. Fuck you. I, I quit. I, I'm done. No, nah, fuck you. I'm done. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I can't let you have the rocket launcher, because I know that would have been your first thought. <laughs> okay. But think about how funny it would have been. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. That deserves a fucking penalty. <laughs> So let's get moving. <laughs> Go hammer. Here are the flight plan at work. Cortana, these coordinates are underground. The Covenant did a thorough seismic scan. And my analysis shows that Halo is honeycombed with deep tunnels, which circle the whole ring. I hope your analysis is on the money, Cortana. This pelican won't turn on a dime. Look on the bright side, Philhammer. The last thing the Covenant will expect is an aerial insertion from underground. She's not wrong. No, she's not. <laughs> like, how the hell? <laughs> Okay, I was gonna say, we were enjoying the music. <laughs> I would have been your daddy. Your gunner dead? No, I said fucking and I went to a ghost. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is him right there. <laughs> <laughs> He's having the worst day of his life. He's having a time. <laughs> that was intentional. <laughs> <laughs> 
So is that. Everything's fine. It's right in the rocks. When they say the drink is on the rocks, is that what they mean? Uh, maybe, maybe in Haloverse. You could just say I'm retarded for that question. <laughs> How about okay? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like there's a tank down there. Yeah, there is. Oh, there's tank mobs. Go, go, dead. I can't believe that worked. Oh, like I said last time too, if you want to see the stuff in the new graphics hunter, just let me uh, just say so and I'll switch over. I honestly keep forgetting that you can do that. It's a nice new feature, isn't it? Oh my god! Yeah, look, yeah. Problem is that, again, it doesn't match up with the geometry. Absolutely not. But <clears throat> it's still pretty. Oh, it's, it's pretty. It's just the, the cutscenes are so poorly made. <laughs> oh, God. Ooh. And rockets. I'll take that. Thank you. And Perfect. rockets over there. Ooh. Uh, I'll stick with the snipper. Oh, we're actually thinking tactically about this. I mean, if there was a chance for a boomstick, I'd take it, but... Uh... That'll be in the next mission. Boomstick's mine. Yeah, it will be yours. You know, he's saying this, but I feel like there's a line of bullshit that comes with it. What the? F you can't even trust me, like, one time. <laughs> Bruh! <laughs> okay, question to you, Hunter, since you've been hearing the, uh, the dialogue from the aliens as well. Do you prefer if aliens use English or their own language? I mean... I think it makes more sense if they would just use their own language. Like, okay. if the alien doesn't have any reason to be speaking English, why wouldn't they? Listen, Ferengi has to make sales, okay? <laughs> I, I get that, but... It probably does make more, my, uh, more sense, but I guess narratively-wise, if you don't want the um, language barrier, you probably... And I'm using devil, Devil's Advocate argument here, is that they probably want to make them speak the same language that we do, narrative-wise. It takes time to build an alien language that's coherent. True. The, I'm, I don't know how Star Wars does it. They probably just mix in gobbledygook. Nice! Please tell me you saw that! That's I did amazing. see that. <laughs> nice! They're dead. We've been killing these guys since we got here. Well, that worked out real well. Oh god. Oh. That'll do. I'll do it, Donkey. That'll do. <laughs> 20, Seems like got 31 more rounds on this rifle. I come, that's 31 heretics who can kill. Okay, there's nothing up here. That's sad. Oh well. We. Fall damage is a thing! <laughs> Knock it up. Do <laughs> you fucking mind? I'm harvesting from my dead corpse! They're just trying to give you another dead corpse to harvest from. Could you imagine if they actually paused and were just like, what does he mean by what? that? What? <laughs> <laughs> what does he know that we don't? <laughs> it's in that. 
almost on beat with the music this there. Halo's control center. can't imagine the wealth of information. The knowledge, so much, so fast. It's glorious. So, what sort of weapon is it? What are you talking about? Let's stay focused. Halo, how do we use it against the Covenant? This ring isn't a cudgel, you barbarian. It's something else. Something much more important. The Covenant were right. This ring, it's Forerunner. Give me a second to access. Yes, the Forerunner built this place, what they called a fortress world, in order to... Wait. No, that can't be. Oh, those Covenant fools. They must have known. There must have been signs. Slow down. You're losing me. The Covenant found something. Buried in this ring. Something horrible. And now, they're afraid. Something buried? Where? The Captain. We've got to stop the Captain. Keys? What the weapons we... cache he's looking for. It's not really... We can't let him get inside. I don't understand. There's no time. Get out of here, find keys, stop him. Before it's too late! There's no time to explain. Grab this fire hose and take out the infernals of hell. <laughs> I just want an explanation. <laughs> God. Okay, so Marley, remember what I told you for this one. Okay. We're taking our time. Okay. The last transmission from the captain's dropship was from this area. That was over 12 hours ago. When you locate Captain Keys, radio in, and I'll come pick you up. There's actually a bug where you can actually jump back inside as soon as it takes off. I'm giving uh, up on the mission. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Let's see, we're... Shotgun ammo here, but no shotgun. It must be later. Do me a favor and swap weapons real quick. Okay. <laughs> yes, what? I'm suspicious. I... <laughs> You thought I stole it, asshole? Yes, motherfucker! <laughs> I wouldn't put it against you. He will murder you. He will. It won't be Halo and friend anymore. Halo and friend. <laughs> and friend, quote unquote. us <laughs> it actually teleported us <laughs> oh my god <laughs> you didn't kill this one right uh what you didn't kill this one right i don't think so okay is this the one we flanked um Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah it's barricaded. Stay back! Stay back! You're not turning me into one of those things! I'll blow your brains out! Get away from yeah. me! Come on. Just let me onto the ledge, please. Don't touch me, you freaks! I won't be like Thank you. you. Will die first. Find your 
own hiding place. The monsters are everywhere. Play dead. That's what I did. Play dead. These live ones. Oh god, I can still hear them. Monsters. Just leave me alone. Sorry, Mendoza. I put him out of his misery. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you won't be needing that pistol ammunition. It's just no remorse. <laughs> Dark Listen. side points awarded. Dark side points awarded. Fuck yeah. high up to be dropped. <laughs> Just a bit. Stay close, Jenkins! Mendoza, move it up! Wait here for the captain and his squad, then get your ass inside. Sir! Okay, let's move! Which is weird, right? I mean, look at it. Something scrambled the insides. What's that? Plasma scoring? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there was an accident. You know, friendly fire or something? What do we have, Sergeant? Looks like a Covenant patrol. Badass elite units. All KIA. Real pretty. Friend of yours? No, we just met. Right, well, let's get this door open. I'll try, sir. But it looks like these Covenant work pretty hard to lock it down. Just do it, son. Yes, sir. Bad feeling about this. Boy, you always got a bad feeling about Captain something. Sergeant, What's going on, soldier? Contact. 
Corporal, do you copy? Over. Mendoza, get your ass back up to second squad's position and find out what the hell is going on. But I don't have time for your lip, soldier. I gave you an Sarge, order. Sarge, listen. What is that? Where's that coming from, Everyone. Mendoza? I don't... There! Get out! Hold still! Hold still! Let him have it! Oh, there we go. Finally sneezed. Oh, ow. Ah, oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurts even more. Ow, ow. Oh. I'm so hard it threw out my neck. Ow. <laughs> you okay? I'll live, I think. Maybe. God. Yeah. So now we have space zombies. Are you just waiting for an explanation, under? No, I'm just watching you murder people and dealing with the fact apparently now they're space zombies. It's I promise fine. you there will be an explanation for them. Instead of just space zombies. Okay. I promise you there will be one. Okay. At least I hope I it will be sufficient. I, I'll trust you. Seeing how this is a game, you've played multiple times. Well, I've only played this one once. Fair. No, don't. don't. This isn't like Dead Space. It's fine. It, yeah, There's it's no counter like on Dead this Space. one. There's a little box up here that. Uh... These guys thought they'd survive on top of. Yeah, I got shotgun ammo from there. Oh, okay. A little ledge here to, to jump onto as well. Careful of the holes. Oh my! Fuck. Yeah. You, uh, having trouble? Always. Yes, I want platforming. Am I non-platforming? <laughs> Basically. There you go. God! That's a hole. Yes. Yes, it is. I fucking give up. <laughs> 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 
just just measly jumps. All it is is just measly jumps. There. You made it. Cool. Lean on. <laughs> I survived that asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I am the monitor of Installation 04. I am 343 Guilty Spark. Someone has released the flood. My function is to prevent it from leaving this installation, but I require your assistance. Come, this way. Chief, I lost your signal. Where'd you go? Chief! Again! Why? Stick! Stick! Oh, we should be There's asking one right there. questions about the narrative, shouldn't we? Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, well, <laughs> well, Hunter, what's your impression? Well, okay, I'll ask both of you. What's your impression of uh, the flood so far? Since that whole entire level was dedicated to them. Uh, hit crabs and left for dead. Okay, narrative-wise. Narrative-wise? Uh, well, uh... There's so much going on that it just popped in a new random factor. And I don't really know how to process it. I mean, there's already so much going on. Like, that they haven't, again, explained. And now here's another thing that's happening that we are also not getting an explanation on. All we know is Cortana's upset about it, and it's like, you gotta stop anything going on with it. And you're like, uh, okay. In like, it's interesting. Like, okay, there's more factors in play here. But what the fuck did we run into? <laughs> <laughs> we need directions. Where are we? I wanna know. I- it's not even directions. I want to know why are these things here now? What the fuck is this? I will say it's, for me, um... Is a much pleasant change of pace than just, oh, we have a ancient artifact that can be a secret weapon. Oh wait, no, it's not a secret weapon. Oh god, what is it doing? The flood must not escape the installation. You can see how the body's been transformed by the genetic destruction of the blood pressure. The small creatures carry spores that cause a host to mutate. Then we can see the blood can pass the blood to the You know, it's a good thing I have subtitles going on because I would not be able to hear them right now. Same. The zombie virus intent on wiping out the face of the universe. Hooray. Ooh. The future. <laughs> I guess narratively wise, uh, beside the, the flood and... Now that we've got 343 throwing us around, what else are you uh, confused on, Hunter? It's, I don't know. It's, <laughs> a, it's a lack of narrative for me. There's a narrative here. I get that, like, there's a story, but there's a lack of, like, anything else. It's one of those games, it's, like I've said before, it's a war game. It's, it's what it is. If you like shooting shit, this is your game. <laughs> it caters to the, the type of people who just enjoy, like, shooting a lot in the process of possibly learning story. This is one of those games you sit down in your living room with your best friend and, like, nine o'clock in the morning when your parents let you have the TV and just hey. stuff. 
And you yeah, take the intermissions of cutscenes to go to the kitchen and get a snack. That is going to be a very unpopular opinion when people hear that. That's fine. I've I've have said I don't like horror games. It's not my type of game. It's a personal I opinion. I'm saying other people are going to be having problems with that. I I'm fucking oh, yeah. respect it. No one said we were going to play games. We all love. I've got a few that I don't like on my library. <laughs> Man, I can't wait when the TV show uh, Paramount Plus covers this stuff, you know? I can't wait for it. That's going to be an interesting TV show, at least. It's not in a good way. I will say it is a little bit strange that we do... that our... The motivation for the main character kind of bounces around, but I guess that kind of happens when you're just a soldier character. You just follow orders as the motivation. Pretty much. I would conjecture that the other species currently on the installation is responsible for releasing the flood. They seem most persistent in their attempts to access restricted areas. The installation was specifically built to study and contain the flood. Their survival as a race was dependent upon it. I am grateful to see that some of them survived to be produce. This is a flood. You are already hard at work repairing your vessel. Its parasitic nature belies the flood's intelligence. They are repairing our vessel. Somehow they have the intelligence to do that. I was about to ask, like, how does a fungal, like, infection gain sentience enough to repair vessels? I'm... I, it must have to be like a really smart parasite. Instead of I, just... I, I guess. It's strange. I... Uh, I, I mean, the necromorphs were smart enough to use a uh, vent, so I guess we can spare a little bit of intelligence, but I don't know how it would know, unless it's able to steal knowledge from the people it infects. That might be the Maybe. closest explanation to get, but I, I don't think it even mentions that. Oh, did you just? Oh, I just <laughs> saw your. I saw your body fall off the cliff there. <laughs> about helping that thing get set to slit our throats. Hold on now. He's a friend. Oh, I didn't realize. He's your pal, is he? Your chum? Do you have any idea what that bastard almost made you do? 
Yes. Activate Halo's defenses and destroy the Flood, which is why we brought the Index to the Control Center. You mean this? A construct in the core? That is absolutely unacceptable. Sod off! What impertinence! I shall purge you at once! You sure that's a good oh. idea? How? Oh. How? Oh. How dare you? Oh. Do what? I have the Index. You can just float and sputter. Enough! The Flood is spreading. If we activate Halo's defenses, we can wipe them out. You have no idea how this ring works, do you? Why the Forerunners built it? Halo doesn't kill Flood. It kills their food. Humans, Covenant, whatever. We're all equally edible. The only way to stop the Flood is to starve them to death. And that's exactly what Halo is designed to do. Wipe the galaxy clean of all sentient life. You don't believe me? Ask him. Is it true? More or less. Technically, this installation's pulse has a maximum effective radius of 25,000 light years. But once the others follow suit, this galaxy will be quite devoid of life. Or at least any life with sufficient biomass to sustain the flood. But you already knew that. I mean... How couldn't you? Left out that little detail, did he? We have followed outbreak containment procedure to the letter. You were with me each step of the way as we managed this crisis. Chief, I'm picking up movement. Why would you hesitate to do what you've already done? We need to go right now. Last time you asked me if it were my choice, would I do it? Having had considerable time to ponder your theory, my answer has not changed. There is no choice. We must activate the ring. Us out of here. If you are unwilling to help, I will simply find another. Still, I must have the index. Give your construct to me, or I will be forced to take her from you. That's not going to happen. So be it. Save his head. Dispose of the rest. Look out! Let the Monitor activate Halo. We have to stop him. We have to destroy Halo. According to my analysis of the available data, I believe the best course of action is somewhat risky. An explosion of sufficient size will help destabilize the ring and will cut through a number of primary systems. We need to trigger a detonation on a large scale, however. A starship's fusion reactors going critical would do the job. I'm going to search what's left of the Covenant Battlenet and see if I can locate the Pillar of Autumn's crash site. If the ship's fusion reactors are still relatively intact, we can use them to destroy Halo. So that's mostly the, uh, the explanation. Um, or at least the, the Halo installation, so... Neat. Is that sufficient to <laughs> to you, Hunter? I mean, that's fine. It's an explanation. As much as we're gonna get one in this game, unfortunately. Yeah, that's fine. They say give you one. Yeah. Almost a little bit of a twist, since uh, I think we were on, at least on this generation there was nothing but tropes of uh MacGuffin weapons. Mm -hmm. You guys know what MacGuffins are, right? Okay, well Marley just died, so me, I don't I don't think so. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I know to answer your question, I know of the name, but I don't know the explanation. What it means is um a MacGuffin is an item that characters are after, but it has no value or use. Uh. So, an example would be, um... I don't know, any Michael Bay Transformer movie. There's almost always a MacGuffin in there that does nothing, but it has a big name, like Matrix of Leadership or The Seed. That's the poster. The center core is the signal. That's what we need to shut down. 
You need to interrupt the pulse generator's energy stream. I've adjusted your shield system so that it will deliver an EMP burst to disrupt the generator, but you'll need to walk into the beam to trigger it. The EMP blast should neutralize the generator. It will also bring your shields at the moment until they recharge. I have one rocket left. Use it wisely. Yes. How much my hands are shaking, I'm probably gonna get Parkinson's. That got dark real quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I was trying to kill the thing, I didn't mean to kill you! Oh shit. my god! <laughs> oh no! I didn't mean to do that, I promise. See, they're at your feet still, they're trying to kill you right now. Yep, 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 alright. Get off! <laughs> oh my god. That one doesn't count. Oh, we gotta go. Are we down or up? No, we're, we're down. We're down. We're, oh, okay, goodbye. Looks like I had the right way. Fuck. <laughs> Just that quiet. Oh, man. Because <laughs> now he's gonna go back. Uh, he'll teleport. At least I'll, I hope just... he will. <laughs> or he'll he'll just Or I could just do this. I don't know what he did. I don't know. <laughs> did you die? You you died, didn't you? She has to put it to a counter, you better answer truthfully. Oh I'm back. Yep, he did, there he is. <laughs> Yeah, that's why he died like crazy. I was dead, I couldn't talk. <laughs> ah! Oh there lord. Was, there was a bitch in it. Yeah, this has gone from Halo and Friend to Halo and Friend. Friend. Got it. And a bonus. Oh. <laughs> I didn't want to take your rocket launcher. It's right there. You earned that. You did a good job with it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> I don't know why you think I'm going to fire it. <laughs> you pulled it out. You know, it's funny because Hunter could totally be the voice of Cortana in our head. Just like, do it. Mildly Fuck being it, entertained by this. <laughs> there it is. That's what I was waiting on. <laughs> Don't worry, the flood just spreading on my brain. But anyway, could you just entertain me for a bit? Yeah, did it. We just kill each other for a little bit. Maybe a good time. <laughs> uh. <gasps> Holy shit. <laughs> That'd be the greatest grenade of all time if that hit. <laughs> Let's find a ride and get to the captain. No, that'll take too long. You have a better idea? There's a teleportation grid that runs throughout Halo. That's how the monitor moves about so quickly. I learned how to tap into the grid when I was in the control center. Unfortunately, each jump requires a rather consequential expenditure of energy. Something tells me I'm not gonna like this. But I'm pretty sure I can pull it from your suit without permanently damaging the sheets. Needless to say, I think we should only try this once. Do it. The Covenant Network is absolute chaos. From what I've been able to piece together, their leadership ordered all ships to abandon Halo when they found the Flood, but they were too late. The Flood overwhelmed this cruiser and disabled it. Covenant are terrified the Flood will repair the ship and use it to escape from Halo. They've sent in a strike team to neutralize I think you'll like this cutscene, Hunter. Minus the explanation part. It's actually funny. He's alive, and the implants are intact. There's some interference from the cruiser's damaged reactor. I'll bring us in as close as I can. Oh, I see. 
see, the coordinate data needs to be... Right. Sorry. He's not sorry. Hunter's just dead inside. <laughs> He's not sorry. At all. Hey, hey, can you... Can you uh, What's up? This is the only time I'm willingly asking you to do this. Thank you. Did, did you need ammo? What, the, what was the purpose? He's delirious. In pain, we have to find him. Grenade. Grenade. When they were figuring out a way to just alarm people about grenades, did you think they at least thought of saying death when they threw it? <laughs> death. Death approaches. Blood's death approaches. <laughs> Captain, these vitals are fading. Please, Chief, hurry! Yep, that looks like death. That was death. Death. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> well, I wasn't wrong. <laughs> you were not wrong, good sir. You were not wrong. But I need to find my stuff. It, what? What the heck? That was like six teleports in one go. <laughs> it I'm should be up find... there. Okay. <laughs> Hell, it's that rifle spinning up there in the freaking on the wall. <laughs> oh. Oh man. Human life signs detected. The captain, he's one of them. We can't let the flood get off his ring. You know what he'd expect. What he'd want us to do. It's done. I have the code. We should go. We need to get back to the Pillar of Autumn. Let's go back to the shuttle bay and find a ride. You can still kind of see, like, the eye sockets and the mouth hole and... We... Yeah, I was going to say, we'd have time to look at it later when things aren't trying to kill us. I completely forgot they did that. Ah! Oh, boy. Oh! What oh, killed me? There were two shotgun floods in there. Oh. That might answer it. Did you notice that the animation, like, started the play of Master Chief, like, pulling out his face before he actually shoved his face, his I, hand in his yeah, face? Yeah, it's from the anniversary edition. Like, the the sounds all muddled up from it. Oh, no, that's fine. It's just, like, they, they mistimed their animations. Yeah. It looks a lot better in, uh, in this version. Yeah. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. There's one of us that's still dead, though. I was gonna say, why haven't you respawned? There you go. Yeah, you, now you can look at it. Yeah, no, if you get, like, nice and close, you can see, like, the outlines. Of, like, where the mouth is supposed to be. You yeah. can see, like, the eye sockets. Is that a couple fingers? Mm. Okay. There's also like other people here as well. There's just other faces too. I don't know what that giant spine is, but I assume it's one of the elites from the aliens. Uh, Covenant, I should say. Not aliens. We actually have a name for it. There we go! Uh, oh, right. Fall damage. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Maybe we can drop on this floor. Yeah, we can. So one floor at a time, Marley. You can't just <laughs> can't just fucking ignore gravity exists. Uh, gravity will remind you ex it exists. There we go. I got it. 
I thought it was gonna be super awesome and get like the toggle command and hop in, like nah. <laughs> no, but there's two for some reason, even though we've only seen only one of us in this entire cutscene. Well, it's all about the halo. And Fran doesn't exist. <laughs> Fran doesn't exist. We need to get to the bridge. From there, we can use the captain's neural implants to initiate an overload of the ship's fusion engines. The explosion should damage enough systems below it to destroy the ring. I leave home for a few days and look what happens. This won't take long. There. That should give us enough time to make it to a lifeboat and put some distance between ourselves and Halo before the detonation. I'm afraid that's out of the question, really. Oh, hell. Ridiculous! That you would imbue a warship's AI with such a wealth of knowledge? Weren't you worried it might be captured or destroyed? He's in my data arrays, a local tab. You can't imagine how exciting this is to have a record of all of our lost time. Human history, is it? Fascinating. Oh, how I will enjoy every moment of its categorization! To think that you would destroy this installation, as well as this record! I am shocked. Almost too shocked for words. He stopped the self-destruct sequence. Why do you continue to fight us, Reclaimer? You cannot win! Give us the construct, and I will endeavor to make your death relatively famous and... At least I still have control over the comm channels. Where is he? I'm detecting taps throughout the ship. Sentinels, most likely. As for the monitor... He's in engineering. He must be trying to take the core offline. Even if I could get the countdown restarted... I don't know what to do. How much firepower would you need to crack one of the engine shields? Not much. A well-placed grenade, perhaps, but why... <laughs> Need. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> He's like, all right, fine. That's it. Engine's gone critical. Surrender the construct to get off the ship. Don't have much time. Move outside and signal for evac. Accessing schematics. There's a service lift at the top of the engine room. It leads to a class 7 service corridor that runs along the ship's dorsal structure. Hurry! Poop. See if I can get to the hallway. Hopefully it'll just teleport you there. Freaking back. platforming mechanics in this game. I like platform mechanics in my non platform games, so no one ever. Yeah. Thankfully, they'll get rid of this, but in here, as, on its wow. own, I don't know why it's there. Approach the crash site and be ready to pick us up at external access junction 4C as 
analyzing. We have six minutes before the fusion drives detonate. We need to evac now. Activating final countdown timer. What the heck? The will detonate. The explosion will generate oh, shit. a temperature of oh, almost shit. one now. million We need a vehicle. Don't be That was too much. Oh, so this is going well. But does it make sense that the pilot somehow survived all this? I mean, she hasn't been grounded this whole time. As far as we know. But that's a lot of fuel to expend to not be anywhere near all the chaos. It's the future. The future. <laughs> I'm inclined to believe apparently there's a problem with her because you made a comment about it. Stop trying to do tricks in the air. This is Halo, <laughs> not Mario Kart. <laughs> <laughs> I got the blue shell. How is this part of a ship, though? A military ship, by the way. What is this house? Mm. Reactor core is strong enough to blow up Halo. Oh, that's unfortunate. Echo 419! She's gone. Calculating alternate escape route. The story shows one longsword fighter is still docked in Launch Bay 7. If we move now, we can make it. That's unfortunate. They'll survive all this stupid insanity of what's going on now to die to that. Yeah. Chief, up ahead, there's a gap in the drift. At top speed, we should be able to clear it. At top speed, she says. <laughs> nope. <laughs> What part of a ship, though, does this house? Is this just like a racetrack on this entire thing? Maybe it's uh -huh. structural integrity. I guess. I don't build ships, man. I don't know. Armada obliterated and the flood. We had no choice. Halo, it's finished. No, I think we're just getting started.
It does it stay as a black screen the entire time? Oh, apparently not. We did it. Action I lost. This actually just oh connected. <laughs> <laughs> so that was Halo. Any final thoughts that someone wants to drop there before I start? Mm -mm. Okay, so it's for me the the story is definitely not as good as I remember it. It's definitely um, it's, it's slow to gain the details. I think it was more focused on gameplay, and it certainly delivers that. So it's not really any arguing that point. But we're focused on narrative here, so. That's pretty much uh, the big contributor here for this uh, podcast. And sadly, I have to say, yeah, there's definitely some beats missing here. Um, for definitely something as ambitious as Halo was. Something that was supposed to be, uh, fun fact, uh, a real-time strategy game at first. But they, they changed it into a first-person action. Interesting. Uh, so that's my that's my final thoughts. So anyone else want to give their final thoughts on that? Well, fine hasn't changed. Like like I stated earlier, multiple times before, it's it's lacking in story a lot. Like I don't know what's going on most of the time. The most interesting part of this entire game was the flood, and I feel like that wasn't the purpose of it at the start of it. Fair. Um. Anything on the... I don't think they gave a, na a name for them, but uh, 343's uh, robots are called Sentinels. Did you have uh, any interest with them? I, they were interesting. They made sense as to why, like, this whole... Like, uh, from what I'm gathering, it's a whole, like, system of this disease was kept in containment for X amount of time, and these the Covenant fucking, or whatever, released it, and now he's trying to stop it. Because that's his programming. It makes sense with the way the story of that part is. Correct. I well, actually not correct. I bl I I agree uh, with that. Um, the it does feel like that we were dropped into the middle of the whole UNSC versus uh, Covenant thing. Um, I think I stated. Did I state uh, in the first impressions that we were? As far as we could imply from the beginning that we got away from, like, some chase or some epic battle? Uh, it was implied, I think, at the beginning. Because they, like, when you, before the game starts, it was like, we jumped, like, I guess they, like, did a jump. But they followed them, like, almost immediately and then took over the place faster than they could handle. I don't know. It was something like that. Yeah, with, with techn technology like theirs, I, I think that's a guarantee that they'll always be ahead of them um, at mm -hmm. this point. Anything else you want to... Anything that I can <laughs> help clear up there, Hunter? No. Mm -hmm. that's, I got most of it. Okay. Um, Marley, what's your, what's your final thoughts on Halo Combat Evolved? Hmm. I'm honestly a little disappointed. Really? Yeah, I mean, it's a good game. It, it's, it's slow to tell a story, but it tells a story. It's not the best story, but I, I don't think I never, I ever would have understood the hype about it when uh, I was a kid, and I, I still don't as an adult. Mm -hmm. So to, to help articulate with that, um, when we're just talking about the narrative, it felt disappointing, but, I mean, gameplay-wise, you probably... How would you feel gameplay-wise, just on a brief note on that? It was lackluster. It's what you expect from a first-person shooter these days. In the past, it might have been different, but... It doesn't Bear hold up mind. as... Also, it doesn't Sorry. really hold up to what we know now, Further, we're playing an enhanced edition. We're not playing it on the original platform. So there are two, some gimmicks to be had there. Mm -hmm. Um, I do agree with that. Um, it is my fa it isn't my favorite in the franchise, but we'll we'll get to that 
down the line when we actually cover Halo 3 and Halo 2, we're going to be specifically focusing on the uh, the Bungie trilogy, not so much the 343 industry since mm-hmm. this is, gets passed off to a different company. Yep. So we're going to have, um, unless anyone wants to drop any final thoughts, we can get into the, the categories of our scoring. I think we're good. Let's just let's just hit it. All right, well, we'll just hit it. Who am I hitting? Am I hitting? <laughs> am I hitting you? Friend. 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 <laughs> am I hitting I you, a... friend? Quote unquote. I got, a... I got a final thought for you. You guys want to know what your grand tally was at the end of all this stupidity? Oh, for our deaths? Oh, yeah, yes. sure. Go ahead, hit us. I'm gonna lose. Let's go. <laughs> Arsenal. <laughs> Is at a whopping thirty-one deaths, and Marley is at a whopping thirty-three deaths. <laughs> Twenty-two deaths ahead of him. I thought you was were actually more. no, you were actually beating him until about the last chapter. <laughs> <laughs> you got that card <laughs> fucked it even more. Uh, we just Marley. need it. It was so close to greatness. You know what people are commenting right now? They're probably commenting, that's what you get for playing with a PlayStation controller, you hack. <laughs> Play with a PlayStation is... controller. Hey, he's gonna hate, but you know what? <laughs> PlayStation Supreme. <laughs> Good news. Okay, so a bunch of big games that came around this time, and Halo is propped up as this one of the, uh, the old-time greats that pushed uh, narrative to the forefront. Is what uh, some people argue. I'll I won't say I said that because I didn't really play it at that time, so I can't really say anything. On what platform? Because I'm looking at a bunch of games that were released in 2001, and I have so many objections. Um, came out on X, the original Xbox, and on PC, which would be probably like Windows yeah. uh, 98, XP. maybe XP. Yeah, probably XP. Vista yeah, wasn't out yet. XP. Yeah. Nah. Um. Yeah, no, if we're just comparing to uh, Xbox, I can answer that because I didn't grow up with an Xbox. Yeah, it's it's a hard question to answer, especially when you put it up against something like Silent Hill 2. That's such a big narrative push for video games. Well, let's see what we got here. We got Silent Hill 2, we got Jack and Daxter, we got Devil May Cry, uh, we got Sonic Adventure 2, and then well... we also got Wolfenstein... <laughs> Return to Wolfenstein, anyway. And then Max Payne. Max Payne is such a... Mmm. And then Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, which is nothing but narrative. That's true. That's your your department. If if people, like, put this... Like, if this is, like, put on the pedestal as, like, the hardest pushing narrative, I'm surprised. Jack and Dexter, I played. That was a really good game. I played that, too. Yeah, that was great. Like, I, I don't understand how this would be the pinnacle push. But I, I guess it's mainly because I also didn't grow up on Xbox. This wasn't my type of thing. Well, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say Pinnacle Push. Um, I would say it's one of them because again, we're talking about at the same time of the, or same year, Silent Hill Two and Max Payne, two really mm-hmm. high pushing narrative story games. Fair. It's just I don't know. I I I don't disagree. I I I'm a little bit shocked. Maybe it's because I'm attached to the gameplay. Um. But the story but, is definitely then, lackluster. It's like, yeah, then that's what that's what people talk about the most, I feel. Like at least people I know. Like they talk about how much fun they have in like the multiplayer, like battle royale style of the games. Yeah. I don't know of, many people talk about the game itself. Yeah, a lot of games copied that uh that shield regen thing that you was up in the right hand corner. Um mm-hmm. one of the <laughs> I have to put myself out here. My first exposure to Warhammer 40k was a game called Fire Warrior on PlayStation 2. It's garbage now that I look back on it. And it had the the shield regen. It, I don't remember what year it came out of, but it was definitely after Halo. And I remember that specifically because it said on the art cover, Who Needs Halo from InfoGamer, I think it was. And I... And I was like, yeah, what, what's Halo? And then I play, it's just like, cool. And then I get older, I'm like, the hell is this? So yeah, a lot of games copied it, for sure. 
Um, mm. But that's only based on the gameplay. I don't think they really took the, the narrative anywhere beside maybe yeah, no. for the science I fiction. Would say... So then if uh, nothing else to drop on there, we shall get into our, our categories. Um, well, actually, I forgot. I had another question. <laughs> Shit. Um, so, speaking of MacGuffins, like I mentioned, now that we know a little bit more about uh, Halo, do we call it a MacGuffin in this instance of Halo 1? Mm. It had relevance with the Flood, so I would say no, because it did have a severe importance to the plot. I, I use that term loosely because they did explain that Halo was you was supposed to be a way to thin out the flood by destroying all life and all that. So I don't think it's a MacGuffin as it's more a it's a plot device, but it's not the best plot. Yeah, I would yeah I I take that back. It, it's a plot device. I would argue that, um, like I said before, it um, deviates from your usual science fiction <laughs> device of like, oh, this is the secret weapon we're going to use to win the war. Oh, wait, that's a bad idea. Mm hmm. But that's just, you know, back in that day. I don't know how much, how well it would stand on its own now compared to its other entries that, uh, to, to give a brief thing. On what my thoughts are of the of the the sequels that came later, really knock this one out of the park. But we will get to that. So, our categories then. Favorite faction is the new one we're gonna drop on here because we have, well, I like kind of less to work with when it comes to Halo One. So our our we only have four factions here. We have the UNSC, which is the the humans. The Covenant, the Sentinels, uh, led by 343 Guilty Spark, and then the Flood. So, I will start. Um, I'm just going to say the Flood's a more interesting faction, because we actually learn a little bit more, and they have a whole entire level dedicated to themselves just to build them up. There's not much else to say. They... Space zombies, and they're actually kind of creepy. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you'll hear no argument for me. They're they're my favorite too. That's yeah. just because they're the most explored out of all four of them. Like you exactly. learn a little bit about the Sentinels while you're learning about the Flood, but not a lot. And then you're with the UNSC the almost the entire time, but other than a background of here's a gun, get to work, you don't really get a lot. And then Covenant. Uh, I'll get to the Covenant in the next one. Okay. Um, I will say, if this... If Halo 1 takes place in 2552, as it said in uh, Jenkins' recordings, uh, can we do better than just metal plates <laughs> doing space troopers' armor? I, it's, just my thought on that. They just needed a space title. And this that was the spaciest form of the year they could slap on, I guess more space uh, science fiction than the marine surrounding him who at knows he's was in a uniform but that makes sense at least oh well actually no it doesn't why would you not want your your main officer being armored up no one knows i do i didn't even th i didn't even think about that like yeah officers are usually in just like one roll attire but that's only if they're at mm. their station if they're on the field you probably want something a little bit more protect well should have would have could have yeah he's dead now who cares <laughs> yeah <laughs> you don't have the key to life Boo. oh see got my quota see he's got the the keys but he's not adorable Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Can we please get to the next part, please? <laughs> ah, it's a nice change of pace after the last pun in Dead Space, let me tell you guys. <laughs> Lord. Uh, okay, so going back to our categories, now we're going to do uh, favorite characters. 
and our cast is a little bit smaller here, so we got a little bit less to work with, but I think there's some things worth talking about here. Our list of characters is Master Chief, Cortana, Captain Keys, and 343 Guilty Spark. Not really, I'm not going to include the pilot, because she didn't, she's a cab driver, that's all, with wings. Well, my favorite was Cortana. Because she's sassy, and it was funny. Yeah. <laughs> like, just, she, the whole time, just sassin. Like, the only thing she annoyed me with was when she refused to explain what Halo was. But I guess that's fair. At she least she, in, she explained it after. Well, like, at least she explained it when we got back. Yeah. She definitely, she probably couldn't monitor, wait, no. She could monitor us when... We were running around with 343 Guilty Spark, but she couldn't monitor Captain Keys at the station where the flood was at. That's... Unless she just learned how to do that while we were away. I guess that could be the argument, but that's kind of... That's actually... I didn't even... I'm learning a lot of things about this <laughs> narrative storytelling with this Halo. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, I just like her because she was really sassy. The interaction between her and Master Chief some, so in some of those scenes was pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. Your silent, tough protagonist and quirky... Uh, can I even say quirky female character in this day and age? Mm -hmm. Quirky character. I'll just go with that. I mean, technically, she's not... I don't even want to get into that. <laughs> AI is AI. AI is AI, yes. Isaac Asimov will agree with that. Uh, you want to go next, Marley, or you need time? Yeah. Um, okay. I mean, I don't have a favorite. Like, uh, I'm going to say that my best is probably a tiebreaker between Chief and Cortana. Mostly because the chemistry and the sinistry that weaves in between the two is a lot better than about 80% of anything else that happens in the game. Mm hmm So, yeah. Plain and simple. Okay, well, my favorite character is Cortana, because pretty much the same notes that Cor- uh, Wow, I was about to call you Cortana, Hunter. Uh, <laughs> you really are no! the voice in our head trying to kill us. Damn right I am. So, yeah, quirky character. She's actually fun. She's actually got some irony, humanity among everybody else. But I suppose that's the thing you get when you're... Well, no, actually, no. That I... mm, Captain Keys, you could say, is reserved uh, and professional, where Chief is reserved. But then we also had that sergeant in the beginning... He doesn't have a name yet in this series, but we'll come back to that later. Okay, then we will just move on to least favorite characters, unless anyone else wants to drop anything on that. Nope. Nope, I'm good. Okay, least favorite characters. Same roster. Who wants to go first? I think you should go first. Okay. <laughs> My least favorite characters is Captain Characters. Character is Captain Keys because it his first decision actually makes sense. Like spread the team out, don't keep them all huddled into the one ship, crash land on the ring. Got it. Then do guerrilla tactics and hit the covenant where it hurts most. Got it. Great stuff. Okay, now we're just going to split up one side's gonna go to the assault or assault the control room, and then we're gonna go find a weapon cache that we have little information on, but could be useful in the coming campaign. Um, I'm gonna say that's a stupid tactic to split your forces up that much, unless you're doing completely stealthy guerrilla tactics constantly, because you definitely got a smaller force than the Covenant, seeing as they have multiple ships. As Cortana explained in the, uh, well, mentioned in the beginning. So I don't even, I don't know what makes him a good tactician in this. He's just getting his, <sighs> exposing his weak points when they, when he's relying so much on just a handful of Marines, but not using the tactics to his advantage when he's got the smaller 
forces on hand. He can use the uh, the unknown terrain. But he's just going to assault a control room instead of just hit and run tactics. I, I don't know. That's just that just kind of do you guys have anything to 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 break that point on me? I don't really have anything to break the point on him because I don't think he was really explored all that much. No. This is the problem with the rest of the characters. It's like, yeah, like Master Chief and Cortana are explored fairly well because they're the main point of the story the whole time. But like everyone else got so little screen time that it's just kind of like, okay, you see them for these specific points and they're important, but that's it. Mm hmm. Like you asked me to like you say to like pick your least favorite character and it's kind of like I could I could point at anyone because <laughs> I did no one's explored besides Marine the number two, 10 <laughs> besides the two main points that dead Poor guy Jenkins. <laughs> Jenkins the least favorite character the guy Jenkins who didn't, didn't do anything shoot. wrong yeah he didn't even do anything he stood there and watched his friends die <laughs> I guess you could argue he was wrecked with fear because yeah, well, who the who the hell knows what the blood is and it's like eating your friends alive. That's fair. I, I it's understandable. It's just that's it's a point. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry. Things are not going to make much sense in between continuity between these games. So this is just one of those things where I'm like he's a great commander. I got that in the first beginning, but not definitely not in the last part. And he has like some kind of nano chip in him to give everything up um web uh, probably tactics and codes and all that but again that could have easily been broken by chief just by the sheer punch he put in so that's uh that's where i'm at at that with that i don't see captain keys as a as a st as a stellar character i not in this game anyway <laughs> so who's next i mean I'll I'll go, but it's just kind of the situation of like I didn't really have a least favorite because they were all bland. Like, yeah, the the robot was interesting, so he's not terrible. But the other two were like your generic marines that didn't you don't really know much about. You know they're important because they they do these specific jobs, and he's your commander and she's the pilot. But other than that, it's like, eh. Well, you you could argue that for any NPC, to be honest. Yeah, it's like there's there was nothing significant about them for me to consider even being a a favorite character or to think to think that they're good enough to be considered in the list. Well, I mean for any game, not just Halo, like any of the the games in Arkham could pretty much well, be some that like summed up like that too. That's fair, but like I don't have a specific character I liked the liked the least. It's a general is like consensus of look, I didn't really like any of you. <laughs> <laughs> I just hate people. Okay, but to be fair, I'm kind of in the same boat. My only answer for the least favorite character is going to be uh, Guilty Spark. But the only reason I'm putting him that in there is because I feel like he was a bit of a shoehorn. Really? Like, yeah. how, like a shoe... Uh, well, we, well, you're going to have to explain what shoehorn means because somebody might not get that. Shoehorn shoehorning is basically you're throwing something in to try to make things make sense, but they it really doesn't, and it feels very obscure and very out of place. Okay. And you know, if I'm looking at this at the perspective of like, oh, it's a war game, we can, we need to fight against the Covenant. Well, now you're trying to introduce this third party, and now you're trying to have a new fancy new machine try to explain the lore behind the entire game while you're going around running these shooting these space zombies it just it felt so out of character for the approach of the game to go from aliens to zombies that it i don't know i personally felt like there was a level of disconnect in there and i mean it it did open doors and new pathways for people to explore because it makes sense like anything is possible out there but just there's a level of approach from it that i don't feel like like it, it was either too rushed or 
they needed an explanation for why they had space zombies and they didn't have anything so they were like oh let's just self-promote our company by using 343 and then putting in a little orb that actually can talk to master chief wait, wait when you repeat that other part for the the about 343 was that did you say self-insert yeah because self-promotion of the company it was bungee at that time though I thought it was 343, and the... then became Bungie. No, it started as Bungie, and then it became 343. Oh, well, fuck, I'm an idiot. Never <laughs> mind. <laughs> the point being, I just feel like it was a little out of place for what they were originally going for. I don't know the history of Halo. I don't know if that was supposed to be the case. I don't know if that was actually written in. I just don't feel like it was well executed. Well, I'll, 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 uh, to, to bounce off your point there, it, I would say for just the history of the installation, probably having the, uh, the Sentinels and 343 adds history to it as it feels like a whole entire computer complex going on with the, the flood, um, uh, Devil's Advocate. So I, I definitely get why <laughs> they just come out of nowhere and there's, they have a good build up but they're not really given a uh, why. But you could argue that our ex extra extraterrestrial life could be pretty much anything, but that's that's the devil's advocate argument that you're I'm right, making. But it's not what I'm saying. Yeah, I know it's not what you're saying. It's just to counteract to the devil's advocate point is like... Well, I can't... I know I'm giving you a lot, but <laughs> this is what they would say. This is what I would say back is that there should be some more subtlety within the development of the story from the beginning. Like, we already know that we're dealing with the Covenant, and we are the Marines, and we have to go on this planet that is seemingly uninhabited. You would think there'd be more traces of the Flood. But then again, it's sealed away. But on top of that, I don't know. I feel like there should have been more hidden gems for us to find to get this sort of understanding that it's not all black and white because it it just repeats on itself it's like it throws you into the action i will i will say it does feel like they toss the covenant aside in that one library level yep um uh, i guess i don't okay i'm gonna i'm gonna do this real quick for if I was to improve this story to actually give the Covenant more of a presence instead of just this massive empire that's now dealing with a parasite, I would have had a another character in there, maybe the commander of the elite forces that's constantly uh, uh, what's the word? Um, not hounding, but you know they're always like in your comm link on the. Uh, like a broadcast system since uh, Cortana hacked into that. Maybe they're, he's hounding you. Uh, um, not complimenting. What's the what's the opposite? Insulting you constantly. Um, you know, he could say things like, I should have finished what, uh, what I did back on whatever planet, you know, we came back from or whatever battle mm. we came back from. Um, just some kind of adversary to give the Covenant more of a more of a presence it does feel like it's still got a presence just not much of one since we just completely like tossed them aside as soon as the the flood and sentinels took over basically yeah so yep that's my point i'm gonna guess that the next category you have for us is the least favorite faction um not uh, no i was gonna go into scoring but if you guys want to do that one i'm all for that well i mean you kind of already just knocked the nail on the coffer with my least favorite uh, Hunter, do you want to do that kind of category? Least favorite faction? Nah. So yeah, I, no. I guess we're doing it. <laughs> no, we're doing it. Now she just said nah. <laughs> she just, or no, she. It sounded like mad to me, so I'm just doing it anyways. Yeah. But I, I already made my point. So Covenant yep. is the the worst one. Um, yep. Just That's, missing. I presence. agree with that too. Yep. If I was, it, I know I'm an amateur writer, as I as I've stated in the last uh, in the dead space recording but Let's sometimes you come out your writers yeah well yeah but i mean if i could come up something with 
I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say, if I could come up with something better for Star Wars The Last Jedi, I think I'm good. <laughs> okay, I mean, if you, if, okay, let me just do this real quick. If you like Last Jedi, then I'll say I'll improve the freaking Rise of Skywalker. There you go, are you happy? <laughs> I mean, I don't really have much, like, input to put here. You're not wrong. The Covenant is the most lackluster thing out of the series, because, okay... Cool. You guys are a problem. But where are you? <laughs> I guess my other biggest the the other biggest thing that grinds my gears is I don't understand why they'd be alternating between English and their own language. Yeah, the grunts were like, saying speaking in English and then the the elites uh and the jackals were speaking in their language. Mhm. Mm like I just, Small that. story nitpick because that really doesn't make any sense. Yeah, no. it's a nitpick. It's just you know whatever you decide on because it's really hard to make an entire language on your own. Yeah, that will change in the sequel. I will say that now. Okay, good. All right. So Sorry. then we now we get into the the what I feel like is going to be the rough parts of this. For people that are watching this because I hope you don't have a bias to this game because uh, it's gonna hurt I feel <laughs> oh absolutely <laughs> so that brings us to our Halo combat evolved objective and subjective scoring or Halo 1 whichever what you want to call it so who wants to start on the subjective scoring I think that's what we started with Dead Space I can't remember right now but we're, that's what we're gonna start with it was yes Am I going first again? <laughs> you just spoke. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, oh, crap. Um, <laughs> subjectively, oh boy, I would give it about two friendly fires out of ten. <laughs> like I said, I was disappointed. Like I was really looking forward to it, and I felt like I was kind of let down with it. I'm sure for other people at the time, it was probably like the coolest thing ever, but I didn't grow up with it. So I tried looking at it with fresh new eyes and trying to look back at that time. And I just couldn't. It's just, I don't know. Um, objectively. Oh, oh, hold up. Don't skip ahead of us there. Oh, I thought yeah, we did both subjective and objective. No, we did the subjective first that we went to objective. Never mind. Come on. Um, <laughs> anything else you want to drop on that for subjective before one of us drops ours? Nah, nah we're all Hunt, okay. Hunter, do you want to do yours? Sure, I also give it a whopping a two out of ten simply because I was oh, bored. Boy. I won't oh, lie, boy. that whole game was boring. I didn't like, I couldn't get into the story. The only reason I'm not giving it a one is because the flood was the interesting. But oh <laughs> the rest of the time, I couldn't. I was like, the most the most entertaining thing in the game was watching you guys kill each other. Everybody <laughs> calm down. <laughs> I've already said it before. My feelings on this. Aw, oh, shit, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, you Halo fans, but it's not my cup of tea. I, I didn't I, grow up with an Xbox. I told them the knife was coming and you just drove it in even harder. Sure did. You're welcome. Mm. This is how I make for enemies and my friends. <laughs> so, Arsenal, what's your subjective scoring? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> You wanted to play this game. This is what you I did. Get. I made the call for it. <laughs> My subjective scoring for Halo One is a. F oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> you know what? Because it's subjective, it's six out of ten. It's fine. Fair. It's it, it's simple. It didn't have to go as hard. I know I'm repeating myself with Dead Space, but that's the same case when you have something really ambitious as you start. And this is uh, it's not huge ambiguous or ambiguous ambitious. Excuse me. So that is when you when you start a universe, you need to go as slow as possible. And this was pretty slow, I'd say. It's not picking up the pace 
uh, too fast as, well, you know what, I'll say it, Halo 5. You know, the, the, all the Halo fans know where I'm going with that. That, uh, that. that plot goes way too fast, but we will cover that sometime in the future, I promise. And I can't really blame you for giving it a, like, a 6, simply because you grew up with it. Oh, like, I didn't grow up with it. Like, it's something you cherish, and that's fine. I feel like if I grew up with it, I may have had a different opinion, but I didn't. And so it's it's one of those things if I'm seeing it for the first time and I'm not impressed. Well, I, I didn't even grow up with it. Like, that, I know someone who did, but they they usually talk more about Halo 3 than Halo 1, which is yep. testimony itself. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But, yeah, again, subjective. This is It's just because I, I enjoy it. I, I have a good time with it. It's just, you know, sometimes when I think about the other stuff, it's just, it irks me a little bit, especially when I'm playing it now. It you know, you, you you notice these things, uh, and you just kind of wonder what was the final decision on that exactly. So, what I say, six? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so then we move on to objective scoring. I guess I'll start with that since I finished up on subjective there, because I'll I'll spare you guys the pain of probably what's going to come later. So. Mm -hmm. My objective scoring is actually a 5 out of 10, which is an okay score in my book. It's not good, it's not great, it's just okay. It's an ambitious start, but um, as to the intro, it really does feel like we just got dropped into the middle of something and there's a continuity errors that exist with this one. But if I'm going to talk about it on its own, it... It adds more to Halo's history and forgets the the other history to add on there. The Covenant is this alien force. I guess there was a trope back then about aliens being the bad guys and all that without giving them any history and the humans being the good guys. But right, 2552 and we have metal plates on them. It's kind of a weird art design. But Chief looks great. Cortana looks great. Uh, that's just the art design for me talking about the narrative is just it's simple it's good it's it's it, 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 it could be it could be worse so that's where i'm at um i'd give it like objectively a six out of ten simply because the gameplay i could i'd imagine looks it would be something that would be really fun to play the the story like with the character interactions was fine it the, the narrative lacked greatly but it that was that's more subjective for me but also the music i'd get like a lot it's one of its strongest points was the music oh yeah we should we'll you know what we'll talk about that after the the scoring because that should be deserving on the ward on its own so well uh remind me if i forget <laughs> but no that they i'll give it a six on objective Okay. Marley? If I was to give it an objective scoring knowing that it was going to be expanding into a bigger universe, I would probably rate it at about a 6.5 to a 7. That's but if I'm surprisingly looking at the high. Game, yeah, because... It's like you said, it set foundations. It it told the story very slow. And if you knew there were more Halo games coming, well, then you just basically finished the prologue. And now, now you've got four other games, five other games. How many other games? Well, let, of let's Halo say that you can now play. Let's say that we didn't know that there were. We're back in 2001. Yeah. And we I, don't I, know I'm, if it's a sequel I'm, I'm getting out. to that. Okay, I'm getting sorry. To that. So if I was to rate this game as a standalone game I'd say it'd be way too far ahead of itself I would give it a 4 out of 10 damn <laughs> I, that's a fair point though because it I would say that it is good for what it is like you're going you you don't buy Halo to pay to play to listen to a story you get the story along the way, but you're pur purchasing Halo because it says combat evolved. You're purchasing it because you want to shoot things. That's true, around and that time. It, 
it it delivers what it's bargaining and mm. it leaves you on a cliffhanger to say like oh we are very positive enough that we are going to give you more of this and yeah they delivered but if i was to look at this and play it on my own when i was when i when i was young if i was young and had an xbox i would kind of just tilt my head at this mm -hmm. so that's kind of where i stand with it is like it's good but it doesn't drive the narrative focus that we normally i say normally when we only do two we've only done two episodes here on denouement but from the games that i normally play and the approaches that i normally take it doesn't breach that at all okay but objectively it's there it's okay it's not the best but it's there gotcha let's talk about the music then uh the music, the music was made by oh sorry holy shit we all just talked at once that's amazing <laughs> So the, the music was made by Martin O'Donnell and Michael's, I hope I'm saying this right, Salvatore. Um, they're pretty much going to lead the music for the, the rest of this franchise, but for a small company as Bungie was at this time, this is an amazing soundtrack just for Halo 1. And it was. Like, watching you guys <clears throat> shoot things and, you know, do the typical uh, first-person shooter, let me kill all these things so I get to this objective... That wasn't that wasn't what kept me going. It was the the good background music they had while you went and the music changing each area, and then you know the classic Halo theme. Yeah, every, everyone knows. There that were a lot of. Now. Yep, there were a lot of light motifs within like each of the levels that went with the rhythm of the main Halo theme. Mm -hmm. So um, that it, it it was the same, but it gave a different flavor every time you went to a new zone. Mm -hmm. So it felt different. We could talk music all day with me. I, I love I love talking about music. Oh <laughs> yeah, well, it will have so much to talk about when it comes to the uh, the the other entries in Halo. Um, mm. I will say for right now though, since uh, we didn't talk about music in Dead Space, I there's not really much to talk about. It's it's just by Jason Jason Graves is a really good uh, composer. It's just Dead Space doesn't really have Dead Space One doesn't have much to go on. But that that's my brief note. We're not here to talk about Dead Space. We're talking to, we're here to talk about Halo. But just in but, case you're wondering why we just because th 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 shut up but With the, um, <laughs> in case you're wondering why we didn't talk about the music in uh, Dead Space One, it's just because the, this is not there's not much to talk about. It's a lot of loud motifs and. Um, it's actually what I mentioned in my essay video. Go check it out. <laughs> but you worked really hard on it, guys. <laughs> I did. I were, it was the hardest thing I've been working on besides this. The reason there's not a lot of music in Dead Space is because they're stuck in Dead Space. <laughs> anyway, anyone got any smart things to say? <laughs> nah, I'm. No, I've I've ranted enough about the game, yeah. and I've, I'm already getting the pitchfork stabbed in my back right now. I think I, I think I better leave it alone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I think I can feel. I, could, I think I can feel the torches approaching, so we should probably get out of here. <laughs> What's that it's light outside leave. my window? I don't know, but I gotta, like, uh, leave, and I'll, I'll see you guys, you know, later. <laughs> Just remember, guys, I gave it the good score. <laughs> <laughs> I won't apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't apologize, either. <laughs> we're amateur writers, and we're here to be honest. We don't like it, we don't like it. That's our prerogative. <laughs> like I said earlier, no one said we were gonna play games we all liked. Oh, that's that's a fact. I know a couple that we're gonna be we'll go through that I absolutely ab ab abhor. <laughs> oh boy. Anything well, you already said your apologies, you don't get to say anything else. <laughs> Would you like to give your eulogy? <laughs> I did my best. All right. Well, that was Halo 1. That was our episode for today. Whenever this gets posted. 
Halo Thanks and for friend. watching. <laughs> Halo, thank you. Halo and friend. Halo and so, friend. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. We appreciate the support. Our next episode, just to give you a, a peek at what I'm looking at, um... It could come down to three titles. Uh, one's not a surprise after we just did this one. The other one is a surprise. The the other two, the other third of the three that I just said to confuse you more with this sentence <laughs> is one that people really enjoy as well, and I think we will enjoy it as well. So that's going to be us for today. Whenever you're watching this, wherever you're watching this, thanks for tuning in. And have a good one. Okay, bye. Took you long enough to say bye. Jesus. <laughs> you apologize. You <laughs> take so long to say goodbye. <laughs> it's okay. We're already targeted for hate. That's true. We'll see you later, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>